So I've got good news for all you Canadian Hyundai Ioniq 5 owners out there. You will be getting battery preconditioning in Q1 2023. So if you're interested in finding out more, stay tuned. So today, some Canadian Ionic 5 owners received an email from Hyundai Customer Service in Canada saying that battery preconditioning is coming in Q1 2023, and that's just weeks away. So I'm really excited for you guys up north. You guys desperately need this feature. We're still waiting for the TSB, the Technical Service Bulletin, down here in the United States. But it sounds like Hyundai's listened, and they're giving us what we've asked for for the last year or so. They do say it's going to be free of charge, which is really nice considering some European countries have been charging a fee to upgrade their cars to have preconditioning, which I think is kind of dumb considering how expensive the car is and software updates should be included free of charge. This is going to save all you Canadians who own an Ionic 5 that's at least of the preferred trim level and higher lots of time while charging. We've been seeing reports of people who already have battery preconditioning getting 10 to 80% charge times, just over 18 minutes, 20 minutes or so. So much closer to what Hyundai advertises. We're not talking about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. We're talking within five minutes of the advertised time for charging. So the key thing to know here is that only if you have a preferred or higher trim level of the Ionic 5 in Canada will you be getting the battery update because the preferred trim is the first trim level that gets the battery heating system. The essential trim does not have that. So if you have an essential trim, don't expect to be getting the update. You would have to sell your car and step up to a higher trim level to get it. They did say in the email to expect another one closer to the release date with more details and when you should schedule service for your car at the dealership to get the update because the update does require uh, updated firmware to the VCU and the BMS system of the car. So you have to take care of that at the dealer. I've already preemptively made an appointment for December 7th for my Ionic 5. Not sure if the update is going to be available by then, but I'm just going to keep pushing it out further and further as we hear more about whether the update is coming. My contact at Hyundai did say he will tell me immediately when the TSB is coming out. So if you want to know when exactly that's going to happen here in the U.S., make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'll be letting you know ASAP. So all you Canadians that have been taking 45 minutes to an hour to charge your Ionic 5s, the wait is almost over. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.